Nelson Bryant Local School District is making progress on a much needed upgrade to its sports facility after being around for over 50 years. Now, two new facilities in the works right now that will be used by the entire student body, not just athletes. New Channel 3's Lisa Feinstein is here to show us what things are looking like so far. New plans for the future of Dawson Bryant local schools have made it off the paper and onto the dirt with progress moving on two new multi-use facilities. I mean, I've been here for 20 years. This is something that seems like we've talked about the whole time I've been here. Brad Miller is now the treasurer for Dawson Bryant local schools and this community has always been his home. The six foot seven former Cole Grove athlete is no stranger to what the facilities used to be. I played uh, four sports year round, uh, football, basketball, baseball, and I ran track. So, uh, um, yeah, that was my life in school growing up. Miller knows firsthand how badly the old facilities needed an upgrade. It was just getting old and you know antiquated and it got to the point where it was a little bit embarrassing and maybe even borderline dangerous. So they decided to tear down and start fresh with not just one building, but two. On one end of the, uh, the, the campus, you have a new athletic field house that's going to have uh, high school, junior high, football lockers, uh, high school, junior high, girls and boys track, uh, coaches' offices. On the other end of campus, we're going to have an indoor turf facility building with a classroom off of it. Although it's an indoor sports facility, Miller anticipates anyone can use it when the weather acts up. Plus, more facilities mean better use of everyone's time. The majority of our uh, extracurricular activities can happen right after school, and we're not having you know practices here till 8.30, 9.30 at night. Administration is excited for a new chapter for students and staff come fall. I think about you know all the thousands of kids that are going to go through those buildings that benefit from that long after I'm you know, I'm gone or any of the rest of the administration. Lisa Feinstein, WSAZ News Channel 3, Cole Grove. Now, school officials say as of now, they are on target with their goal of finishing that project within a year, which will be at the end of July. We'll keep you posted on the progress.